Doctor, you've written a couple of new books. Uh, one is uh, Toxic Relief. Can you talk about what some of the more common toxins are that are out there that we come in contact with that we probably don't even realize? It, well, it's interesting. There's about 70,000 chemicals that are out there. And a study done is either EPA or, C, or CDC, I forget which one, but they said the average American contains about 700 of these chemicals, significant quantities of these chemicals in our bodies. Mm. And uh, essentially, these chemicals include especially pesticides, organophosphates, organochlorines like DDT, DDE. What's amazing, this, the DDT was banned in the 70s, but we still have this and the metabolites in our body. Mm you know, 40 years later. Mm -hmm. And also mercury, mercury is so common, it's everywhere, lead. Everyone's got mercury in their bodies, pretty much everyone on the planet, everyone's got lead, everyone has fire retardants, everyone has these phthalates, you know, these plasticizers in them. And um, again, these, these toxins have unique capabilities that where they, they gum up the mitochondria, they, they, they create free radicals, they uh, damage the certain cell structures, creating free radical damage. But others are solvents like benzene, toluene, um, you know, the hexanes and things like that. There's just so many different chemicals out there that are potential carcinogens and that, are, that just damage our, our, uh, especially the mitochondria as well as the brain, as well as uh, they collect in areas from the heart to the kidneys to the liver to the brain and GI tract and kidneys. So, uh, so again, we're just inundated with so many different types of toxins, and that's why when people get older, and this was a study that just came out a few weeks ago that I found fascinating, they found that women that were osteopenic and osteoporotic, they started getting high blood pressure and they started having decreased kidney function, and they finally realized the lead was coming out of their bones. These mm -hmm. women, when they lost bone, they had had lead that stores in the bone. It's known that lead stores in the bone. When the lead came out of the bones due to the osteoporosis process, it literally redeposited in the kidneys and made their pressure, blood pressure go up and then reduced their kidney functions. Mm. I said, that's amazing because a lot of these diseases we're seeing later in life are simply uh, either a collection of these free met metals that are you know, actually overburdened in our system like mercury and lead coming out of the bones and cadmium from uh, you know, cigarette, uh, secondhand smoke, mm. or from auto exhaust and things like that. Or again, it could be these phthalates building up that affect our hormone levels, or it could be these pesticides building up affecting, um, they affect the mitochondria, they affect so many areas of the brain, even our thinking, our neurotransmitters in our brain causing, leading one to more memory problems, to more uh, depression and anxiety, and who knows what other types of problems we're having. Mm.